back to our humble roots, our humble beginnings, spotting in the 2008 Toyota Prius. We got a 675 LT Spider. We're gonna drive around today on this fine Saturday. The weather is actually very nice at a nominal 67, 68 degrees, I believe. Now, ladies and gentlemen, influencers in the wild, this is, I mean, say less. Look at that. Oh no, we got Stratman block. Come on. Come on. Influencers in the wild. She's standing on a pillar box. Uh, word? Huh. Oh, rodeo, Christmas shopping. What we got over here? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, ladies and gentlemen, we're here on Rodeo Drive. Listen, guys, I don't know if it's the Toyota Prius. I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know if it's the time of day or the month, but the influencers out in the wild today, ladies and gentlemen, just wait for it. I mean, my goodness, they're... They're popping up like <laughs> they're everywhere. Good lord. She looks so serious. She's just like, yup. We here to take a photo shoot. Oh look at that, look at that. Oh what rob the bank. This man is doing exercises. Here we go, here we go. He's he's well, we're getting a little show right here. We're getting a little show right here. The fitness trainer. He is. 100%, dude. Here we go. We're going to get a little workout going on over here. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, he's parking. He's parking. Next is Supra. Next Supra, G Wagon, and a GT3. <laughs> that girl's mask was just like flopping around everywhere. <laughs> Literally finessed it and blocked a Samoy dog across the street near the Rolex store and the now defunct Lux Rodeo Drive Hotel. Oh, there it is. There's Oscar Pop. Wait. Do, do you see what I see on top of the Lux? <laughs> <laughs> There's Oscar Pop. Look at him. Good little boy or girl. Now, if I angle the camera as such at a vertical incline, a couple degrees up north now, what the? Oh, God damn. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> Six by six Jeep is a gladiator or uh hold on. There it is, look at that. Oh it is a gladiator. That's pretty dope. Kinda like it. Absolutely insane. Dude, the Prius man, it brings out the lows, it brings out the spots. Yeah. It really just uh yeah, I see it right there. Ooh, that's nice. There he is. SB, SB. There goes the six by six. My zoom has focused. Look at that. That is a scene of beauty. Not gonna lie, it's pretty intimidating on the road. Anyways, got the good old 2008 Toyota Prius. <laughs> Perhaps the most reliable car in my entire fleet. Oh yeah, more reliable than the Toyota Century, which by the way, needs to be fixed. So we'll, be, we'll, we'll go into more detail with the Toyota Century in a little bit, but this is the most reliable car in my entire fleet of just nonsense project cars and one supercar. And of course, the daily baby. Look at this golf cart, gas power. We gotta pick one of these up, baby. That's sick. There you go. Ain't no V6F type. That's a V8, baby. We're here at a uh, Malibu Audubon pop-up meet. Decided to take the S-Class. I think people are starting to roll out. Let's head over. I think it ends at Beverly Hills. Fucking Daniel Madden, oh god damn. Is Steven in the car with him? No. What? Where's Steven at? Uh, Shut this down when we get there. 16.35. 16.35. 
16.35 minutes. Yep. Okay. I'll go with that too. That's pretty specific. I'm going with 15 minutes. What? what? They blocked off the road on Rodeo. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's it's shut down. Look, it's completely blocked. So we were making bets earlier as to how long the cops would show up. They have superseded every estimate tenfold. The entirety of Rodeo Drive has been shut down preemptively before we even got here. That's pretty, listen, like I, I gotta give credit where credit is due. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, bro. Now, we might as well just park up right over here. This is a pretty, pretty nice little spot. It's pretty cute. Lone King. Oh my gosh. So we've all migrated from Rodeo to Beverly. And we're all here. Wow, look at this. Oh. <laughs> come here for the OA Super Legera. Boom. Oh man, in we go. Mr. Sheep, right over there. Look at that. Dude, I don't know what row this is, but this is absolutely insane. You can probably, I'm not gonna say it, you can probably go pretty damn quick here. some gas doing a little Costco shopping with a Lambo let's see I think most of these things will fit in the car didn't buy too much stuff this time but oh yeah here we go taking her Lambo to Costco to do a little grocery shopping and buying a little pizza not the best idea a lot of bad holiday drivers and it's completely packed we got zero miles left on the gas tank we're barely gonna make it lucky for us Gas station's right around the corner, baby. All right, guys, it's time to put this little device right over here to use. Let's see? Lock it in. Here we go, moment of true. Let's see if it locks in. Whoa, like clockwork. My man Albert hooking it up just like that. Bada bing. Bada boom. Check it out, it's a Nissan Murano! Those are sick! <laughs> All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, let's pop open the engine hood in the back here. And we got a couple things to discuss. We're currently here in the OC engine bay looking a little bit cleaner, many thanks to Anthony's garage. Just letting it cool down, did a little spirited driving. So essentially my friend Zach Brell Check the car out, everything looked good on paper, and the seller told me that the clutch life was around 60%, but I anticipated that either he was lying or is gonna be severely <laughs> a little under 60%. That being said, we did buy the car sight unseen all the way in Canada, transported here. Many thanks to Zach Bro for always hooking it up and inspecting the car and driving it all the way back to Ontario. But that being said, we're taking the car to Raging Bull Performance right around the corner. About a few days ago, they gave me a clutch reading at about 9%. Now, time was of the essence, so we had to wire the money over, get Zach Brell, pick up the car, drive it back to Ontario, and we didn't really have time for a proper PPI. That being said, that is still on me. Of course, the seller can always say whatever he wants, and you know, they're, they're, listen, there's a 51% discrepancy with the clutch life. Either something happened in between transportation or you know, he drove it really hard and just assumed it was 60% left. Who really knows? That being said, we're getting everything sorted at Raging Bull Performance right around the corner, right over there. We'll be doing the oil change, oil filter, the clutch, and including around 
nine to ten hours of labor, we're looking at around six thousand dollars. I think it was like actually fifty nine hundred dollars, but we're rounding up to six grand. So you just have to prepare for the worst, ladies and gentlemen. So it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Once this car is sorted, guys, listen. The exhaust is coming in a couple weeks. Hopefully, I'll be checking up on the company who's building the exhaust. Stay tuned for that. As for the time being, man. It's kind of sad to see this car go. There she is with Raging Bull Performance. Now the clutch could arrive today, it could arrive Monday. So we're gonna give around four to five days, no big deal. A lot of packages are actually getting delayed and delayed and delayed at UPS, FedEx, USPS. I even just sent something out. and I usually get like a two day guarantee with uh, UPS. They said due to the volume of traffic and packages being sent this holiday season, they came and guarantee two days. So it's not a big deal. Let's take a quick look at the lock here. Vorsteiner 12C, pretty sick wrap. And of course, we got the stock 12C right over there. Ooh, this is pretty nice. Oh yeah. There was a black Super Legera here last time, but I think that was sold and it had its clutch sorted out as well. Boom.